Hello. Now I'm just holding my tripod because I don't have a um, selfie stick. We're going to do this um, this long scarf, as I said earlier, the peacock, and in the dark garden. And first of all, I just took it out from. Uh, I just took it out from. Oh, this tripod is heavy. <laughs> I just took it out from the package. So now first, I'm going to iron it. Okay. I have someone asked me before if the silk need to portrait need to wash and um, before you paint it, and I don't think so. I never wash my um, silk scarf before I paint them. I just pick them out from the um, package and give them a very light iron, just to get the rid of the fold, and that's it. So this is a very simple frame I've made myself. Uh, it's just some very uh, small light frame bar, not frame bar, even any, any wooden bar will do. And for the corner, I just used some metal piece. Uh, you can just get it from your local tool shop, I think. I don't know how you call it in English. I don't even know it in Chinese. <laughs> um, so once you get your frame made and you need to get some sewing clips, eye screws and elastic cord, that's all you need to make that frame. And um, when you clip your silk on the frame, then there's two things you need to check is uh, the front side and back side, especially uh, it's when it's, you need to use gutta to do the outline that makes makes a different because you don't want to paint the back side with your good outline uh, how can you tell it's you just check the edge and then you'll be able to tell otherwise it's no different and uh, when you clip your silk on to the frame the area with clip on it slow down the dye to come through for me, I like to do it only with the corner. I try to make the point, the touching point, as small as possible, uh, because uh, when I, um, if I need to color the whole background, as I do later for this design, I do need to color the whole background. And so sometimes when I finished painting the whole silk scarf and then took it down and I found there's some white bits I need to go over again so I have to put it back on the frame and then go over the whole background again because uh, we know uh, silk is not designed to paint on the dry surface if you have the first layer of the color and then you add and, the, and when the first layer was is dry and if you add another layer and then it's just leave many like um, uh, unpleasant marks like uh, the running marks on it so you, you sort of have to go over the whole background again it's a lot of work that's why when I do the clip I just try very careful I just get hold enough um, the, and that's it if you watched my other tutorial you probably know sometime I will do the outer the good outline first before I put it on the frame and for this one I don't really need to do that because uh, the good outline is not there to hold the die the outline is there to make its own shape its own pattern so it doesn't really matter when uh, when you don't need it to hold all the color in a uh, special area the good outline uh, can be loose and uh, looking rela more relaxed than um, um, yeah more creative that's what I think so for this design it's um, I use this design come from um, a Chinese classic painting way that uh, but they didn't use it on silk the original way was using it on the rice paper when the painter when the artist paints the front part and then they will just turn over uh, to the back and then and then uh, use a brush to cover the back with a whole uh, same background color and uh, I learned that from my art school so now I'm using this technique on silk and I think it's um, it's 
it's pretty good. I, I like it. Um, also for the uh, guitar, this part, uh, I had my design on the computer, uh, so I just use. I just need the shape of the uh, peacock's head, and then I just made up the rest, um, like the feather or the flower. For the background, uh, it's dark, dark blue. Um, the top part, the the top half, are lighter than the bottom half, as uh, the top half um, like represent the sky, the dark night, the sky, and when it's going lower down, the under half, the other half, <laughs> it's darker because it's more like the uh, land, the ground with shade. So yeah so that's it that's uh, the idea and the technique i will also list everything down everything i'm using in this video i will list it down in the description um, i hope you have a good time and um, try it. or if you have any questions just message me i will try my best to answer you as much as i could so for the rest of this video, I'm going to put a Chinese classic music as a background music. I hope you like it. Enjoying!